Have you ever wondered where the concept of an aircraft carrier, a floating airbase, originated from? The birth of aircraft carriers is a fascinating tale, steeped in innovation and necessity. As World War I raged, nations sought new ways to project their power across the vast oceans. It was during this time that the first seaplane carriers made their debut. The British Royal Navy, always at the forefront of naval warfare, led the charge. They envisioned a ship that could carry, launch and retrieve aircraft, a veritable floating airfield. This vision materialized in the form of the HMS Ark Royal, a pioneering vessel that truly revolutionized naval warfare. The HMS Ark Royal, fitted with a flight deck and hangar, could launch and recover seaplanes, a feat previously considered impossible. This innovation marked a significant shift in naval combat strategies, bridging the gap between sea and sky. And just like that, the first steps towards the modern aircraft carrier were taken. As the world plunged into the Second World War, the aircraft carrier began to take a shape we'd recognize today. These colossal sea vessels now equipped with larger flight decks and more powerful aircraft, became the centerpiece of naval fleets. World War II was a crucible for the aircraft carrier, a testing ground where their strategic importance became abundantly clear. A prime example of this was the Battle of Midway in June of 1942. This epic confrontation between the United States and Japan was largely fought not by battleships, but by aircraft launched from carriers. The U.S. victory at Midway, largely attributed to the superior tactics and efficiency of their aircraft carriers, was a turning point in the Pacific War. Carriers didn't just change the tide of battles, they changed the nature of warfare itself. The ability to launch air attacks from the middle of the ocean gave navies a reach they never had before. The carrier's potential was so vast that it triggered a race among nations to build bigger, better, and more powerful versions. The 1950s saw further advancements that propelled carriers into their golden age. The introduction of the angled deck and innovation by the British Royal Navy allowed for safer and more efficient operations. Planes could now land and take off simultaneously without the risk of collision. This dramatically increased the rate at which aircraft could be deployed and recovered. Another game-changing innovation was the steam catapult. These devices first installed in the U.S. Navy's carriers used the force of steam to launch planes off the deck at high speeds. This allowed heavier aircraft to take off from the carrier's short runway, increasing the firepower that these vessels could bring to bear. The impact of aircraft carriers was clear, they had become a force to be reckoned with. Their evolution from experimental vessels to the linchpin of naval strategy was a testament to human ingenuity and the relentless march of technology. With the advent of the Cold War, the aircraft carrier found a new role as a symbol of naval power. This new era saw the evolution of aircraft carriers in their design, technology and purpose. With the world divided into two opposing blocks, the importance of these mighty vessels was more pronounced than ever before. In the early years of the Cold War, carriers were primarily used as a show of strength. Power projection became a key strategy, with carriers deployed around the world, serving as floating fortresses that could act swiftly and decisively at a moment's notice. By the late 1950s, the world witnessed a significant milestone in the history of aircraft carriers. The USS Enterprise, the world's first nuclear-powered aircraft carrier, was launched. This shift to nuclear power was a game-changer. It meant carriers could operate for years without refueling, increasing their time at sea, and reducing their logistical footprint. The Enterprise set the standard for future carriers, with her successors also adopting nuclear power. The Cold War also saw changes in the aircraft that carriers housed. The introduction of jet aircraft led to the development of angled flight decks and steam catapults, allowing for faster takeoffs and safer landings. This era also saw the introduction of anti-submarine warfare helicopters, further expanding the capabilities of the aircraft carrier. As we moved into the 21st century, aircraft carriers have continued to play a pivotal role in conflicts and peacekeeping efforts around the globe. They've provided air support in the Gulf War, enforced no-fly zones over Bosnia and Libya, and delivered humanitarian aid following natural disasters. These vessels have evolved to meet the changing demands of global security. From hosting unmanned drones to the integration of advanced radar systems, aircraft carriers have proven their adaptability and resilience time and again. They've remained at the forefront of naval strategy, serving as a testament to human ingenuity and the relentless pursuit of technological advancement. From World War to Cold War and into the 21st century, the aircraft carrier has remained a cornerstone of naval power. 
So what does the future hold for these floating airbases? As we venture into the unknown, we see the development of groundbreaking technologies that could redefine aircraft carriers as we know them. One such innovation is the electromagnetic launch system. This technology is replacing the traditional steam-powered catapults, enabling carriers to launch heavier aircraft with more fuel and ammunition. But the innovation doesn't stop there. The future might also see the integration of unmanned aircraft on carriers. Imagine fleets of drones controlled remotely, taking off from the decks of these maritime giants. These unmanned aircraft could potentially carry out a range of missions, from intelligence gathering to strike operations, without risking human lives. It's clear that aircraft carriers are far from becoming obsolete. Instead, they're evolving, adapting to the ever-changing demands of warfare. They're not just surviving, they're thriving, morphing into something even more powerful and versatile. Only time will tell how these behemoths of the sea will evolve next, Today we've taken a journey through the history of the aircraft carrier. We've traversed the tumultuous seas of time, from the birth of the aircraft carrier in the throes of World War I, through its golden age in World War II. Our voyage has sailed us through the Cold War, where the carrier's role was redefined and expanded, becoming a symbol of power projection and a deterrent against global conflict. We've also glimpsed into the future, speculating on how technology and strategy could shape the evolution of these floating fortresses. From stealth technology to unmanned aerial vehicles, the next chapter in the aircraft carrier's story is ripe with potential and filled with intrigue. The aircraft carrier has come a long way since its inception and its journey is far from over. It continues to shape the tides of war and peace, standing as a testament to human ingenuity and strategic brilliance. Thank you for joining us on this historical voyage.